Well, hi again. Now, in the previous video, I promised you that I will explain to you um, on or give you an example of why does the work energy principle actually make sense. And uh, we said, okay, that the work energy principle was the fact that the network that is being done, or another way of saying it is the total work being done, okay, the total work or the network being done is equal to the change in the kinetic energy okay that is the work energy principle now why does that make sense well if we have a look at this example down here let's have a look at an example down here then imagine someone pushing a cart on a straight uh, straight road or whatever he's just some person pushing a cart and then we know that this guy is applying a force let's say the force he is applying is force T. So that force is in that direction and we notice another force that is um, involved here and that's the the frictional force it's not a smooth area so there's a frictional force there is in this case there is a weight component okay uh, in other words a force that is downwards that we know as weight that's also acting on the cart and then there's also the upward the normal force now the normal force and the weight in this case is kind of going to cancel each other out because this guy's just pushing forward um, but then what we notice is that this guy is doing work since it is moving he is doing work and we are going to call the work he is doing the applied work so he is applying energy to this system he's applying work now that energy needs to be translated now some of that energy is going into overcoming friction so there's some work being done by the frictional force now the frictional force is in the opposite direction as the motion so it's negative which means it's stealing some of the applied force Okay, so in other words, some of the applied force is going into friction. Friction is stealing some of the energy that the guy is putting in. Okay, what's happening to the rest of the energy? Have any idea? What is happening to the energy that the friction is not stealing? Well, if the frictional force is less than the applied force, and these two cancel each other out so the the normal force and the weight cancel each other out then there's going to be a net force in the system now what is a net force going to do well I hope you immediately know it's going to cause acceleration if there's acceleration that means there's going to be a future velocity and an initial velocity okay so what is happening if there is more energy being put into the system okay it means there is a net force which means there will be a net work being done there's extra work being done that is needed and that extra work is going to cause a change in the velocity okay because the net force is going to cause acceleration and that is why the net force is perfectly equal to so everything all the energy that's extra is going into changing this thing's motion its velocity in other words its kinetic energy now what happens when he reaches the uphill okay let's have a look okay so when he reaches the uphill let's just have a look again at all the forces acting on it he's still applying the same amount of force okay in that direction and there is still weight that is downwards but now the normal force is in that direction so we know that um, not all of the weight is uh, counteracted so now this guy's part of his force that he's applying also has to counter the weight component okay the weight force that is now there's a component in that direction and that's all things that we did before I'm not going to go into that okay and there's still this frictional force that is in the opposite direction so now you can see there's more components that is opposite the direction of motion which means the amount of energy the work that he is ap um, applying to the system is being stolen more because some of the energy that he is applying has to now go into overcoming gravity 
okay and uh, you learn later that's uh, potential energy so some of the energy has to go into um, overcoming gravity now what happens if he is not applying enough energy okay in other words the the work that is being stolen uh, it's not really the real word stealing work okay but in other words the the amount of energy that has to go into overcoming friction and the amount of energy that has to go um, into overcoming the weight is more than the applied work that this guy is applying. Where is that energy going to come from? Well, now it's not just going to steal the energy from the force that he's applying um, or the work that he's applying. It's also going to steal some energy from the motion. Okay, so the network done, okay, meaning the the network done is obviously equal to the work that is being applied plus the work to overcome friction plus the work to overcome the weight plus the work that is involved in its uh, motion. So let's call it uh, K for kinetic energy. So this is obviously its kinetic energy. So what is happening here? Well you notice that this work done by the frictional force is in the opposite direction so it will have a negative sign and the work done by the weight the uh, component of the weight is also in the opposite direction so it will also have a negative sign so what is happening well this work and that work is stealing that's why the negative away from the applied work but what if there's not enough applied work to steal from so let's say it steals away all of this okay then where is it going to steal from more well the only one that's left here is the kinetic energy so since it's stealing from the work applied and it's only got left to steal from the kinetic energy it must mean that this thing will start slowing down that's why it starts slowing down on an uphill because the frictional force and the weight component is taking away from the work that is being applied so not unless he applies more work um, in other words a stronger force it is not it is going to cause a change in its motion in its velocity in other words it's reducing its kinetic energy to compensate for um, the weight and for the friction okay which means again that change that will be equal to the change in the kinetic energy. Now I know these pictures might be very confusing with all the scribbling on it, uh, but basically it makes sense to me that um, when I apply energy, when I do work on an object, if I am doing more work than is needed um, to overcome friction, then that work must go into the only other thing it can go into and that is in changing the object's velocity so if I do more work than is needed I'm going to cause it to increase in velocity so I'm increasing its potential uh, sorry its kinetic energy and if I'm not applying enough work to overcome the work needed for friction and the work needed to overcome the weight component or gravity then the only place where these two components can get more energy from is from the energy that uh, or from the work that is um, in this object's motion in other words its kinetic energy and that is why it will reduce the kinetic energy so again the net work done in other words adding up all of the work um, should equal the change that an object has in its kinetic energy. Well, uh, hopefully that helped a bit. Uh, see you around in some of the examples coming up next.